Hey, what's up guys? Well, welcome to today's video. Last week, I was a bit busy with that top 100 tweaks video when this major update was pushed to the Uncover Jailbreak utility. So to start off the week, that is what we're gonna talk about. We're also gonna talk about iOS 12.3.1, the possible release of iOS 12.4 this next week, WWDC 2019, and of course some iOS 13 rumors. Anyway, before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Best Tech Info website for more information, and of course, our iOS 12.2 to 12.4 jailbreak status checker pages. All right, let's get directly into the news. So, like I said, last week, either Thursday or Friday, Pwn to Own updated the Uncovered Jailbreak version 1.3.0, there's actually two subsequent updates, versions 3.1.1 and 3.1.2 with minor hot fixes, but the major version update was 3.1.0, which is probably the biggest update since the release of the Uncover Jailbreak. Now again, this is still just for iOS 12 to 12.1.2 for A11 devices and below. Unfortunately, no A12 support, but there is still a lot of progress going on with this jailbreak utility. You guys seem really interested in my update video pertaining to the Chimera jailbreak, so I thought I would do the Uncover jailbreak the same justice and go over some of the major changes. Well, there is a lot. As you guys can see, this is the change log. Now I wanna highlight a couple features here. There's a lot of rewrites that went on. Pretty much all of the kernel patches and preference management systems have been rewritten from scratch to make them more stable. There's a bunch of fixes if you guys were experiencing crashes within apps or just various things like that. Those seem to be updated as well. Um, where was it? This was a major update right here. It says add support for switching from other iOS 12 jailbreaks without restoring the root file system and losing data. So it now sounds like it's possible to go from the Chimera jailbreak directly to the uncovered jailbreak without losing any data at all, personal or jailbreak related. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out later in this video. This was a big one plaguing both jailbreak utilities. It says refresh the icon cache during the root restore file system. So once you're completely back on stock iOS, all of your jailbreak applications like Cydia and anything else that you had installed like Filesa or iCleaner, those should be removed from the springboard when restoring the root file system back to stock iOS. Kind of minor, but it's a nice update. And then overall, it sounds like a progress HUD to display the status of the jailbreak process has been added. Um, and the conclusion really sums up things nicely. It says this update significantly improves the stability and performance of the entire system. It fixes issues with the jailbreak app and makes it more user friendly, kind of like the Chimera jailbreak now. And again, like I said, the feature that I highlighted earlier, the ability to switch from other iOS 12 jailbreaks without losing data. Let's go ahead and update this jailbreak utility. But just to keep things simple for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the old jailbreak utility pull down ignition if I have it installed, I do. So gonna go into that, navigate to jailbreaks and then select uncover wherever this guy is, there we go. And let's just ensure if we scroll down here at the very bottom, version 3.1.2, so that is the latest version. We're gonna go ahead and click git, click install. Now we can head back to the home screen and it's side loading, that's pretty quick. So my biggest pet peeve with the Match Swap 2 exploit is the fact you kind of have to wait for your phone to turn on. You have to wait about 20 to 30 seconds before actually clicking jailbreak with that exploit. Otherwise, the phone's just going to crash. Well, let's go ahead and test this new version. Again, I'm using the Match Swap 2 exploit. Make sure that one's selected. That is the faster one. Let's go ahead and click jailbreak. And there is that new HUD that they're talking about. It looks like there's a different amount of steps required now too. And I'm not sure if it crashed or if it's a respringing. And it crashed. So still doesn't look like that's been updated. It must be an error or something related to that exploit and not the jailbreak utility itself because that happens on both the Chimera and the uncovered jailbreak. Kind of what I was thinking. Let me go ahead and run this one more time and kind of give it a second for the phone to start up and make sure everything's fully running. Really all I do is open the Uncover app, exit out of it, make sure all my widgets are loaded and kind of just wait about 20 to 30 seconds for this exploit to actually work fine. Um, this is just right after booting up, I guess. Um, typically I'll use the voucher swap if I just boot up and if I have my phone on for quite some time, then I can feel comfortable using the match swap too. Anyway, here's the second attempt. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a successful one this time. 
And that was pretty quick. I do like the HUD. That does make it a little bit user friendly uh, and looks like we can click OK. So that's a little bit different. I think there's an option to enable an automatic respring instead of having to click OK. Um, that's kind of a new feature that they added, but you can revert it back to the old way as well. So here's that automatically respring toggle that I was talking about to kind of revert back to the old way where it would just respring right when the jailbreak is completed. It seemed like the respring was just a bit quicker there, which was kind of nice. Um, I do have a lot of tweaks and things like that installed. And so that's one reason why the respring times are so much longer with this setup. If I compare this to stock, if I have time later in this video, you guys will see the resprings are pretty instantaneous even with Uncover. Um, but the more tweaks you add, if they're unsupported or if they're just not compatible entirely with each other, there's a lot of things that can cause longer respring times. And it just, as a general rule, it seems like the more tweaks I have, the longer it takes to respring and load all of them up. Anyway, for the second part of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use Snapback right here and revert back to one of my snapshots of the Chimera jailbreak. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to switch from the Chimera jailbreak back to the Uncovered jailbreak. So here we go, we're jailbroken with Chimera. As you guys can see, Slio works perfectly fine as one would expect. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can transition directly to Uncover. I'm gonna go ahead and install just like Noctis, just something very visually apparent that the tweak is still there after we jailbreak with Uncover. So uh, install that tweak, it's gonna do a quick respring. Again, this is a very basic setup. There really is only one tweak installed and that is Noctis. So now that we have Noctis installed for this first test, let's go ahead and see what it's like to go from Chimera to Uncover with the latest version of this jailbreak utility. Let's go ahead and see what our settings are. We're using the match swap to exploit. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and click jailbreak. Well, there we go. Jailbreak completed on the very first attempt from going to Chimera to uncover. And we're in the jailbroken state, so you don't even have to exit out of that. And as you guys can see, the root file system was not restored. Resprings are still decently quick. Um, unsure as to why Noctis is gone right down here. Oh, okay, so here's exactly what happened. Noctis 12 is still installed, but since this is an A11 device, the Chimera jailbreak uses substitute and this uses substrate, so that's the difference. I doubt substrate has been installed on the uncovered jailbreak. Let's go ahead and try to install a different tweak. It looks like Boxy 3 is working, so it did change the icon layout, but for whatever reason, Noctis still isn't working. That's really interesting. Not 100% sure why that is the case. Well, going to try one more time, just jailbreaking from the non-jailbroken state to see exactly what happens here. This really wasn't as easy as a process as I thought it would be to transition from Chimera to Uncover. I was really excited for that feature, but it just seems there's a couple bugs that still need to be worked out. So definitely, uh, Beware of that. Um, every single time I jailbreak now, it says it, it's installing Cydia, and now it says pretty much fatal error every single time. It's interesting though that even though it said fatal error, Cydia still loads, so uh, Cilio has been removed, so that is one thing that I did notice. So some parts are working, but for whatever reason, I cannot get tweaks to actually work, um, at least tweaks that were on my Chimera jailbreak to actually then work on Uncover after transitioning. So that was the whole point of this feature and I'm really hoping they'll do some updates to it. I'm not 100% sure what's going on as to why it's not working correctly. So uh, as you guys can see, resprings though on the Uncover jailbreak now are just as fast as the Chimera jailbreak. So there are some awesome updates. Uh, the jailbreak utility, it looks like it did jailbreak. I'm back on Uncover um, and new tweaks that I install like Boxy3 are working perfectly fine, but for whatever reason, Noctis still isn't working. Anyway, those are two of the major new features in the Uncovered Jailbreak. Hopefully one of them sees a few improvements here in the near future. The very last one that I wanted to check was restoring the root file system right here. Supposedly it's going to refresh the icon cache that that issue has been fixed. I guess we have to toggle it on. And basically this is going to remove Cydia, the actual application icons. Restoring the root FS removes all the background packages, but in previous versions of Uncovered, after you restore root FS, Cydia would still appear on the home screen even though all of its files had been removed. So let's go ahead and check the updates for this. That's the very last thing I wanna test in this video. Let's go ahead and click exploit. And it says notice the root FS will restore. Let's go ahead and click okay. And it has been restored. So we're going to restart. Let's see what happens here. 
As you guys saw with this jailbreak setup, I had multiple applications, iCleaner Pro, FileZa, Snapback, Succession, Power App. They're all applications that have a physical app icon, as well as, of course, Cydia. So all of that should be removed now. Um, hopefully it is. It's kind of a minor error that's been happening in previous versions, but let's go ahead and scroll all the way over. And there we have it. I'm really happy to say that that feature will end on a good note here has been successfully fixed. Now when you click uh, restore root FS, it entirely removes all of your jailbreak files and it restores or refreshes that icon cache. Anyway guys, some interesting updates to the uncovered jailbreak. Essentially the short version is it's getting closer and closer to that of the Chimera jailbreak. Um, I really like this. I really like having two jailbreak utilities with two jailbreak teams out on the scene. It creates some healthy competition between the two to see which one can create the better jailbreak utility. Definitely can create some drama, but all drama aside, both jailbreaks as well as both jailbreak developers do some absolutely phenomenal work. And I'm really excited to see what the jailbreak scene turns into in iOS 13. Well, very lastly in this video, I just wanted to update everyone on some minor things real fast. So let's transition from this phone and go back over to this one. Uh, let me turn down my brightness here so you guys can see this a little bit better. Uh, iOS 12.3.1 was released last Friday as well. Surprise update with a couple hot fixes, nothing major to be concerned about. iOS 12.2 also is no longer being signed, so if you guys are on that version, again, just stay there. Stay on the lowest possible version of iOS that you can if you guys want to receive a jailbreak in the near future. But honestly, the odds of receiving a second round of iOS 12 jailbreaks before iOS 13 hits beta stages is very unlikely. And once iOS 13 hits beta stages, and we're about eight days away from that at this year's WWDC, once that event happens, once iOS 13 beta 1 has been released, the entire focus is going to be jailbreaking iOS 13. And unfortunately, a jailbreak is not going to be released while iOS 13's in beta. And really, it's almost safe to say at this point in time, any exploit or any developer that has an exploit or proof of concept project out there is just going to wait until iOS 13 has been released and not waste the exploit in an iOS 13 beta or release it for iOS 12 for that matter, um, as Apple will just patch it in an iOS 13 beta update. Anyway guys, that's all the updates I have for you in this new video. Um, and in today's update, a new version of the Uncovered Jailbreak Utility was released and it's inching its way closer to that of the Chimera Jailbreak. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know with a huge thumbs up. Again, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. Bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.4 jailbreak status checker pages. Stay tuned for more awesome videos coming this week, but until next time guys, this is Tony. Signing out.